Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am starting the Sugary Dew Quilt Along. Um, I know that this actually started in November 2019. So I'm a little bit behind. Um, I was actually not planning on doing like a, a sew along series on it. Um, but I was, you know, told that they, that it would be nice. People would really like it if I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so here we're starting. Okay. So what we are doing is row five, um, because she's going to like not do them in a row. They're going to be in, you know, weird order. However, she feels like doing them, which is absolutely cool with me. Um, and so these two fabrics are the ones that I'm using. Um, I bought her, her rainbow set. Okay. So we're going to have this orange, which she calls papaya. Um, this is called titanium. This is my accent fabric. And then I also have the, I got the silver, um, background fabric. So, um, let's see, where am I? Okay. So I've already, um, done like a quick light, um, light starch on here. I, did, I used best press and I pressed these pieces. Um, so the papaya we're going to use up today and because each, uh, strip has one color and that's how the rainbow is going to go. So we're going to use all of the papayas. So let's do that first. Um, so, okay. So she's got this great, um, cutting layout. I know that she has it written down here. Um, and if you know Irena, she's from the Netherlands, and so uh, English is not her first language. Personally, I think she does an awesome job. Um, but so it can be like like when I when I was reading it as well, it was a tad bit confusing. Um, not bad. It's just I can understand. But guys, she's got this great um, cutting layout on the picture here. So I love this. I think it's awesome. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to cut my papaya fabric first. And that is obviously this one here, which looks like a dark, dark orange. Um, okay. So from the papaya, we need five strips of two inch cuts. Okay. So let's see. Let me get this as straight as I can. Move this real quick. All right. I'll fold it one more time. Okay, let's see. I have, what do I do with that other? Because I don't think this one's long enough. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so this is, I need to clean up this edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it a little bit bigger than the two inches, just so that I can clean that up. And um, this one is, it's more than 12 inches across. And we need five strips, so we're going to have plenty. That's fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to just cut it just a little bit outside there. I think I'm a little bit too close. That's... Okay. Looking to make sure I can see that there is a, at least a little piece of fabric just to the left of the line. I think that that looks good. Um, I might just cheat a little bit more since we have plenty of fabric. I would much rather not cut it too short. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this over for a second so that I can flip this one around and trim that edge off. Okay, I'm pretty close. I hope I didn't mess that up. Please don't let me mess that up. <laughs> okay, and the way that you know that you're good is you can pick the top of the strip up 
and it's one continuous piece and I mean it's only falling apart because I was that close guys <laughs> okay so I think that's good that looks like it's good okay so that's one piece And I need five. Yes. Okay. And again, I am cutting five strips with the fabric at two inches. Now we've got this little lanyard left over. I'm going to just put it, I'm going to put it in my container. Um, because I do have one of my art bin containers set aside for the sugary dew block of the month. Um, okay, so now that we have these guys, we are now going to subcut three of these. And out of these three strips, we are going to get 12 strips that are two inches by eight and three quarter inches. Okay. Eight and three quarters is what we're going to get. All right, so first thing I wanna do, let me flip it the other way. It's easier for me because I'm right-handed. Just gonna cut off the selvage. So all I'm gonna do is I see where the selvage is Um, and we have plenty of fabric. She's been very generous with us. So if you bought her um, her little package, you don't need to worry. She's done. She's given us plenty to work with. All right. So once I have the selvage off, I'm just going to cut strips at eight and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I am lined up on the bottom on a line and then also at the eight and three quarters. And you can just use um, you can just use the, the lines here. And you could actually, I mean, Okay, well, let's do this because I know I can hear people right now. I am one of those people who I just, I typically just enjoy the process, <laughs> um, which means I may, I do a lot of times take the long way whenever I'm cutting fabric, but we really don't need to. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it this way. So we'll be good. We can put all three of these strips together and then cut three at a time. Okay, and this one and this one are the new ones. So I'm gonna take these two first and cut one out of each of them and that way it'll be pretty even with the other row and then I can put them all three together and we should be good. Put these together and scooch them for a bit and then I think we leave these just as they are yes so we have two strips that are um, two inches by width of fabric so I'm gonna leave those to the side as well and Next, we have the background. Now, the background, I have not 
um, pressed at all because I thought what I'm going to do for the background is I'm going to cut the piece that I'm going to need and then I'll press it. Okay. I typically don't like to cut fabric when it's, you know, not been pressed yet because you've got all the little wrinkles in it and everything, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to cut it. Um, because I don't want to mess with all of that. <laughs> I just don't. Okay. So, um, the line of the fabric is just a tenancy little bit crooked. <laughs> so I'm going to just hope that she has been just as generous with the background <laughs> as she has been with everything else. And if not, then I will be purchasing some silver Kona fabric <laughs> because I'm not going to try to um, mess with all the other stuff. I'm just going to cut off where it is. And I think this is probably the furthest it goes out. So I'm just going to cut off and I'm just, honestly, guys, this is how I roll. I just wing it. So don't be afraid to just sort of wing it a little bit if when you're cutting for, I don't know, I say that because my stuff always comes out okay. I mean, I'm definitely not a perfect quilter, but, um, you know, I don't know. I just try to have faith in myself. That's <laughs> whether I deserve it or not. I don't know. Okay. So now this is a clean edge and I need six strips at two and a quarters by width of fabric. Okay, so two and a quarter. All right. And of course, it's a white line. Of course, it's a white line. And every time, everywhere I'm going to look to try to find something else with two and a quarter not being a white line, you will not find it. I'm telling you, <laughs> I would have to try to figure it out like in this direction. Oh my goodness. Let's see. If this is, let's do this. Nope, look, it's it's still a white line. You see what I'm talking about? Like, it's a white line, and I'm on this very light-colored fabric. So here's what I'm going to do to try to alleviate the problem. I'm going to put the white line, and I'm hoping you can see this. I'm going to put the white line just onto my dark gray cutting mat, and that way I can see it, and then I'm going to slowly pull it over until I know it's on top and because I'll never see that white line. You can't see it. I mean, it's it's in, invisible right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, so I need six of these. Here we go with number one. Okay, so I have pressed these strips of my background silver fabric and I am going to start the cutting. Um, I have three of them that I'm going to set aside um, that are going to stay at two and a quarter inches by width of fabric. So let me do that. I'm going to try to keep them as, well those I have separate, I'll just fold them separate. Okay, so I have one, two, and three. Okay, and then I'm going to start with I need eight pieces that are two and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So I'm going to put two of these together and I'm going to trim the selvage, which the one on the bottom has some, wow, pretty big selvage. Okay, so let me um, cut that off first just to trim that off. Okay, I'm going to flip it around 
and I'll keep them together. Okay, and then I need eight and three quarters. Yes, and I need eight of these. Now I just need one more at seven and a half and then I'll have um, a little bit extra of this. So let me cut the selvage off this side. And I need just one piece at seven and a half. Okay, and so now I've got those three pieces I needed and I'm going to set this aside for later. Okay, and now all we have left is our accent fabric, which is the titanium. Okay. Um, it is very windy outside. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but wow, it is like extremely windy. You guys okay? Smudgy, you all right? Smudgy gets very scared. <laughs> My poor little sweetheart. Is that long enough? Yeah, it'll do it. Okay, so all I need is one two inch strip. Okay. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do is when I'm cutting this two inch strip, I'm going to, I have to, uh, square up the end here and let's see how far in does it go over there? I should probably flip that over because it looks like it's a bigger discrepancy on that side. Make sure I get it right. Okay. And two inches. Okay. So I know where the two inches is, and then I'm going to just try to make sure um, that I get the end cut off as it needs to be. What is going on? Is Elia crooked? <laughs> I never know what I should do about that. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to cut right there. We're just going to pray. That's what I do. I cut and pray. <laughs> Which is a silly thing to say whenever you're like sewing, but that's what I do a lot. I do a lot of praying when I'm sewing. <laughs> and I want to tell you guys, like most of the time when I'm sewing, I just, I, you know, I, I may come across as being so worried about everything. Um, I'm really not. I mean, if something goes wrong, I'll either work something out to try to fix it or it'll just stay wrong. And that's, oh, well, I don't care. I still always love my quilts. So, okay. So I have one whole solid piece. So I did a good job there. Um, the rest of this titanium, I can scooch over because I only need a little bit of this. And it looks like I need two pieces at seven and a half inches and then two pieces at eight and three quarters. And it looks like they want us, I, and I don't know if this is for a reason, so I'm going to cut them one at a time because there's a save for later, and I don't know if it's that I need that for a specific size. So I want to make sure that I'm just going to do um, one at a time, but I will cut the selvage, both of the selvages off since they're pretty much right at the same spot. Okay, and then right here, it says 
time to start sewing. So we are going to pick up tomorrow night where this leaves off and I will see y'all then. Okay guys, it's the next day. I'm back and I am ready to sew these all together. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our long um, width of fabric strips and we are going to sew them together alternating between the silver and the papaya. Okay. So I am going to sew all of these together. We are going to sew them together using a quarter inch seam. And um, I am going to press all of my seams open, um, but you could press either way. In fact, she kind of says, you know, a lot of people like to press to the darkest fabric. She herself is pressing toward the papaya fabric, um, and I am going to press open. So as soon as I have all of these uh, stitched together, I will come back and we will move on to um, cutting the next step. Okay, so I have my strips all sewed together, and we now need to cut these into 18 pieces at two and a quarter inches wide. Okay. So I'm going to get the two and a quarter, which of course is the white line. I hate those. Um, but I want to put it so that I'm cutting off the selvage. And you can see like on this piece right here, the selvage comes all the way to here. Um, so I'm going to make sure that my two and a quarter inch line is beyond that. Okay, so I have all of my strips cut out of this, and let's see. Okay, so it looks like what we're doing is we're taking, what, two, what does it say? Take three, okay. So I'm taking three pieces and I'm gonna put two of the papaya strips between there. So I'll sew that one there and that one there. And that ended up longer than it was okay. I don't have any idea, but I'm, I'm, we'll trim those up, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, Okay, so basically we're gonna be putting these all together, right? We're gonna make um, a whole bunch of these. How many? All right, so that's, the, that's gonna be the first one. Repeat step six for the remaining five blocks in papaya. So we're gonna make six of these all together. Um, And then we're going to make one with the accent fabric. So let me put these together first, these six. Then we'll come back and we will assemble the block that is made with the accent fabric. 
Okay guys, so I have my six blocks um, and these are called hashtag. And oh, you know me, I'm always trying to get all the little tifons off the... Okay, anyway. <laughs> There went jelly bean. So I've got my six blocks ready. These are my, um, this is the color of the strip, which is called papaya. Uh, the background is silver. And then my accent color is titanium. So I'm going to scooch these over for a minute. And now we are going to assemble the accent piece. And what we're going to do is just the way that we had uh, stitch together all five of the long with the fabric rows that we had. We're going to do the same with these. Okay, so we'll have silver, titanium, silver, titanium, silver. So I'm going to go and I'm going to stitch all of these together and we will come back and um, sub cut them because we're going to cut these into three strips this way so I'll be right back for that piece okay so I have sewed these strips together and now I need to cut them down into uh, three two and a quarter pieces this way okay So now that I have the three strips, um, okay, yes, so what we're going to do now is we're going to sew one of these between each one, just like we did with our regular pieces, and that will give us the hashtag. So I will go and finish sewing this one up. And then I will um, tell you how we put all of these pieces together to make one big long strip. Okay, so now I have my accent fabric block and my papaya blocks. And all I need to do now is um, sew them all together in one big long row. Uh, the only thing that we need to um, do in order to follow the pattern as Irina has written it is we are going to make sure that our accent fabric is the second fabric in, you know, from either side. It really doesn't matter because then you could just flip it over because they're all going to be the same. Um, so basically it'll be a papaya, a titanium, and then papaya all the rest of the way down. Okay. And the way that we are going to sew these together is we're going to take our silver strips and we are going to sew one strip in between each block as we put them together and you'll also take one and sew it at the very both of the ends okay so um the strip is basically going to be silver hashtag silver hashtag silver hashtag all the way down and then the last strip will be a silver um, so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to just sew all those together and come back for the reveal okay so now there's jelly bean Oh, he's big yawn. He's been napping. Yep. Oh, I got to take this away from him. <laughs> I forgot that I put that there. Um, okay, so here is my hashtag line. So we've got those all done. Um, I hope this has helped for those of you guys who um, wanted to have a little more help with... Um, with a little um, sew along. And if not, if you have any questions about it, please put it down below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as I can. Okay, seriously, like he's way more cute than anything else I was doing. <laughs> Jelly Bean, what are you doing, baby? Don't mind all the fur. This is a, a cat blanket. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had two of them. I'm sorry, baby. Look, Mama left pins on you, didn't she? My goodness. She, Mom, be careful. <laughs> okay. Well, there's Jelly Bean. We'll close with him. And um, I will see you guys with the next installment, which will be uh, month two, which is the 
pattern that we received for December. And if you are joining in on this and would like to make this quilt yourself, uh, the pattern is free. So I will give you some links down below, not only to where you can get the patterns from Irena at Sugary Doo, but I'll also link her video where she puts together each of these uh, rows because it is her quilt and she is making a YouTube video. So I will link it so you can go and check her out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> we'll stop in the middle of the bath here.